Okay, so here are the QWERTY keyboards on both phones. Here's the LG 840Gs. Uh, nice, nice spacing in between the keys. Um, you can hit this little key and it brings the keyboard, gets rid of the keyboard, so you can see your entire message. Um, you've got your uh, number options here. And you've got up here your input method options, which you have a uh, keypad and then this keyboard here. Uh, you do have uh, you do have a copy and paste feature as well as auto correct. Well, not auto correct, but it gives you suggestions for words. Um, on the LG 800G, here's your keyboard. A little bit more squished together, smaller keys. Uh, because it is a smaller screen. Oh, it just locked on me. Um, you've got three input methods on this phone. You've got keypad and handwriting, which is also a nice feature. On this phone, we can just draw out the numbers. Um, this keyboard is kind of confusing to use because you've got, you know, things in weird places. And um, I think this phone... Yeah, it does have word suggestions, just like the A40G. Um, very similar, um, but this keyboard on the A40G is much easier to type on. Just because it's bigger, the screen is bigger, uh, the keys are more spaced, um, and is a, and it's a capacitive touchscreen versus the resistive on the 800G. Um, so I much prefer the... Uh, keypad on the LG A40G. In fact, that was probably the main reason why I upgraded. It's because I could not text. Um, okay. So next, let's go to kind of the app drawer, which is an Android term, but this is a very, these operating systems are very similar to Android. Um, so here they are on both phones. On the LG A40G, um, it's more of a white theme. And on the LG 800G, it's more of a black theme. The icons uh, look similar on both phones. On the um, LG 800G, you can actually change the theme up to more of a white theme, similar to the uh, 840Gs. But I have it set to the black one right now, obviously. So on the 840G, you have three pages of basically applications. Um, the nice smooth scrolling with the capacitive touchscreen and then on the 800G you have two pages of applications which it's kind of hard to scroll through them with this touchscreen. Um, things are ordered similarly like you have prepaid, contacts, messages, recent calls, or dialing, recent calls, camera, well, yeah, camera and games and apps. Um, you know, similar alarms, browsers, settings. Um, something that you do get with the 800, or excuse me, 840G is this email and SNS, which is social networking, which you do not get on the 800G. You also get, um, sound settings, um, uh, things like, yeah, that's basically it. That's different. I mean, you get three more different three different applications on on the uh, A40G. Oh, what's this? Um, let's see. I'll show you guys games and apps on both phones. Um, so both of these phones support Java games. Um, I used to have more games on this phone, but then I took my SD card out and put it into this phone, and so now I don't have them, but these are the two games that come on it. Um, they're organized in, they're both organized in similar ways. They both have buy games at the top, which I don't use, because that's a waste of minutes. Um, and then you list of your games here, but this has an info button here to kind of let you know stuff about the app. Um, so on my... 840G, I have Angry Birds, Asphalt 4, Dual Jump, Facebook, Fruit Ninja, Jetpack Joy, or Jetpack Soldier, which is a Java version of Jetpack Joyride, um, Opera Mini, UC Browser, and Uno. 
Um, Uno and Asphalt 4 both came on this. And they're just demo versions. Uh, which is kind of where the LG 100 takes a lead. Because these games are not demo versions. They're full versions of the game. Um, and they're pretty fun games. Both of them. And Uno and Asphalt 4 are not very fun. <laughs> in my personal opinion. Um, on this phone... You have an option. Um, not right now, you don't, but when you download games, you'll have an option to turn the keypad on or off. And with this phone, you do not. You have to uh, go through this complicated process to get them off. Um, which, if you want to know, it's in my. Uh, the directions are in the, in the description on my review of the of this phone. The LG 40G. Um, they're very comparable in gaming. Of course, you know you're gonna notice a pretty considerable difference with the c capacitive versus the resistive touchscreen on you know touchscreen um, made games, games made specifically for touchscreen phones. You know you can move both phones to an SD card. I mean, excuse me, you can move games on both phones uh, to an SD card. Um, so they're very similar. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys calendar on both. So calendar is where is calendar? Oh, it's up here. So no, very similar calendars. Just take dif different themes: white versus black. Not much to see there. Um, one thing to note about the LG A40G is it does have um actual virtual back buttons not just these as you can see this does not have a back button you have to actually hit this key to go back or you can hit this one on this phone to go back so um i guess i'll show you guys camera next so as i said earlier the cameras are both two megapixels on um both phones um kind of similar layouts um this does not go away on this phone and that bar does go away um, you can adjust, on this phone, you can adjust the white balance, resolution, you have a bunch of settings like night mode, color effects, stuff like that. Um, and of course you got zoom and brightness. Um, right here is the link to your gallery, and if you hit right there, you can get to the video recorder. Um, with the 800G... <laughs> You've got the same basic thing here where you can hit this. It's kind of hard. Uh, yeah, it's really hard actually. And there's the video recorder. Oh. Okay. I guess my battery is dying. It's not letting me access the camera. Sorry about that, guys. I was actually going to take a picture with both of these and show you guys if there was any difference. But I guess I won't now because that's dying. Um, browsers, I'm not even going to compare because this cannot access the internet anymore. It's not activated and it doesn't include Wi-Fi. Um, you know, alarms are similar on both. Voice recorders are similar on both. Um, you've got My Stuff on the 800G and you've got File Manager on the 840G, which is a little bit more professional sounding. Um... Notepad, um, you got notepads on both, except for this is called uh, Memo or Tasks. Um, of course, you've got a Wi-Fi settings here. The music players, which I actually will compare here. Um, here, they're organized um, sort of like this on the uh, A40G. Um, you come, when you first click on the app application you're brought to this menu which is all your songs and if you click up here you can access your playlist artist albums genre and favorites and you have your shuffle you're now playing um, everything like that and then these pluses um, they add things to your, one of your playlists it's called add HOC playlists and on the 800G over here. You got thing organized. Got things organized. Um, 
in recent recently played all tracks, artists, albums, genres, um, that type of thing. And you can add things to playlists, just like you can on this. Um, I wonder if this will let me play a song here. I'll, I can play the same song. Oh, okay. I completely forgot I have no music on this. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh yeah, it was on my SD card, which I moved over to this phone. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. This review, or comparison, is just full of disappointment, isn't it? Um... The music players are really comparable as far and sound quality is comparable too. They both sound about the same. Um, they're really loud. They're they sound a lot better than my iPod touch speaker. Um, pictures on both. I don't think I have many on the eight hundred G. But they're oh yeah, they don't have any. On the 800G, they're organized uh, landscape, and they're organized portrait on the 840G. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to compare. They're really similar operating systems. There is just more uh, features and applications on the 840G. And there's just more stuff you could do with it. Um, and the Wi-Fi and the 3G uh, versus no Wi-Fi and no 3G on this phone. I mean, yeah. Um, I personally am in love with the 840G. I mean, it's it's really cheap. It was like 60 bucks, and this was 50 bucks. I mean, for 10 dollars more, you can get so much more of a phone. I mean, if you're looking for something, well, I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> this thing is not really for anybody, really. I mean, this is more for everybody. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, I'm sorry. This comparison is not very good. I'm really apologize about that. I'm really an amateur comparison person slash reviewer. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that, but they are very similar phones, but they're very different, too. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'm sorry about the length of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.